Yo, what is up, my people? Hope you're having a great week. All right here, I'm bringing you a Gunslinger pistol build. I'm going to one-tap this named enemy right here with a few buffs from my squad. I want to show you everything you need to know. This build is mainly for Razorback, okay? The Gunslinger holster is so strong. Shout out to all the homies running these similar builds. My build is a little bit different, I feel, but very similar, okay? So I want you guys to know this. I don't want you guys to be out there wondering how to do this. How to piece this together i want to provide all the good content in the game that i can for you and right here i feel like we're doing that with this pistol build and right here we're gonna apply all our buffs and once we use them he's gonna bts you me and now i'm gonna drop my booster and i'm gonna do insane damage as a matter of fact i'm gonna do 61 million damage as you can see under me right now it's insane damage and I hope you guys enjoy this build, my breakdown, and everything I'm trying to teach you, okay? Let's get it. Yo, what up, my people? Yo, I hope you're having a great week so far, man, for real. So here goes our Gunslinger pistol build, man. This thing is disgusting. This is how I enjoy running it. You can run it however you want. Listen, man, this build slaps, all right? I'm going to tell you a few pieces that you must have, starting with the must-have gunslinger, all right? This is a must-have because if you don't have this, you're not going to be doing that damage, all right? That crazy 61 million damage. On Razorback, you could be doing, I feel, anywhere from like 80 to 100 million damage if you have like seven pulses and, you know, everything is right. All your weapon damage buffs are right. With my calculations, that's what I feel, okay? Another thing... When I read this description, chat, I don't know why, but when I read this description, I feel like I'm supposed to be getting a thousand percent more damage. So while your pistol is holstered, gain a stack buff every uh, 0.3 seconds, okay? So in one second, you can get up to three, three stacks, all right? So you get a maximum of 100 stacks, all right? So a maximum of 100, when you swap, your pistol consumes the first shot and buffs and deals 10% damage per stack, all right? So 100 stacks, 10% per stack, in my opinion, is 1,000% more damage. But you're not actually getting 1,000% damage, all right? I did the math. You can do the math yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think. It took me a little second to do the math. But I came up with five point, I want to say one or two, or up to five, okay? So 510% damage is what I'm getting on, on most of my math calculations by doing the first shot without the buff and then doing the second shot with the maximum buff. And I didn't get anywhere close to 1,000% more damage, but you know, that's just my opinion. I'll leave that up to you guys, all right? But this holster right here is giving me, in my opinion, 500% more damage, which is phenomenal, okay? So... You also want to have this right here if you don't already have the fox prayers these are like items i feel like are necessary for the build this will give you multiplicative damage you also want to run with crit damage okay so this is going to be an all damage build of course you want to get up there into the millions of damage and this is how you're going to do it okay y'all mask especially for razorback because razorback is all health so health damage multiplicative is super strong super powerful and i highly suggest this mask if you don't have this mask, maybe a DNA should work for you for now, okay? You can rock whatever type of backpack you want. I'm rocking this, and I have headshot damage on it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm rocking this Providence because it's a perfect backpack for me with Vigilance. So you need Vigilance, no doubt. And right here we have critical hit damage. Razorback doesn't have a head, so headshot damage, you know? I don't know, man. It's, it's really your opinion. If you're rocking two Providence, I totally understand. It's all up to you, man. And right here, I am rocking a beautiful Grupo, which uh, I wish I had crit chance on. It would be uh, beautiful, but I don't have crit chance. But it's okay because you're going to be getting buffed from your team. You should have at least like three people with Coyote Mask giving you all three different buffs, in my opinion. You know, this is mainly for Razorback. This is to try to three-phase Razorback. And that's why I'm bringing you this insane pistol build. You can use this in any other content you want. And this is how I highly suggest it, all right? This is one of my weakest pieces on the build, but it's still pretty strong. I have a 24% crit hit damage on this with the two mods. 
my headshot damage is not really needed so crit chance if you can and right here i have a weapon damage that you know i could probably get a better chest sometime dnh for the 20 percent pistol damage this is a must in my opinion you need one dnh in this build no doubt okay so the grupo is kind of like if you want or not really it's up to you like i said you can run out of the providence for the crit chance or you can run a seska for the crit chance itself which would probably be better if you had like a a, a god roll you know seska or a god roll grupo book bag which is really hard since seska comes with blue mod and grupo comes with yellow as you can see um you know i think this is one of the best setups right now for this uh what we're trying to do right glass cannon as the talent that way they're uh, multiplying with each other vigilance and glass cannon and that's about it man liberty that way you're getting that fat daddy damage that king macho damage and you're just destroying enemies you know what i'm saying you could use a shield if you wanted to if you're not uh doing the raid and trying to raise her back but this is uh basically for razorback mainly for razorback so we're using a booster hive and this is going to be overcharged when we're using it for razorback so you're going to be getting insane damage and it's super beautiful man in my opinion so yeah make sure you are uh you're rocking that booster man and then uh post scanner post with btsu to get that weakness exploit which will give us a uh, 15 percent post damage or amplified damage to post targets okay and that's it for this build man really really quick really simple build whatever spec you want to run you could run the spec is going to depend on the team that you're playing with so you know i'm going to let you guys choose that i highly suggest having different specs for each player in each subgroup there's specs that give you damage so make sure you're focusing on those specs as what you want to run for your uh, squad okay and with that being said pistol damage pistol damage pistol damage on every single class that you have all right guys don't forget that that's a huge part of the build 15 percent more damage right there okay so yeah man thank you guys for watching i hope i broke it down if you guys have any questions hit me in the comments if you guys want to know anything and i hope you enjoy this build this is for my people in my community that don't know about this build that don't have this build i hope you enjoy how i set it up and you can set it up however you want okay salute i'll catch you later on stream for some more speed runs today is reset day so we're going to be helping the community and then we'll do our speed runs after all right guys take care love y'all man stay blessed baby thank you for watching